Hey ladies and gentlemen, Simon here with another episode of ReZero. Uh, apologies for the delay on this one. I've um, been having some computer issues through the week that have now been uh, resolved. Um, there will be some Naruto tomorrow for you and Cowboy Bebop on Monday. And then from next week, we'll be back up to uh, regularly scheduled programming. So um, yes, anyway, last time on the third episode, we managed to break through the time loop that you know kept ending at Old Man Rom's shop with uh, Subaru's death at the hands of Elsa. Now, the reason for this, th there could be a number of reasons. Firstly, um, Amelia, who we also knew as Satella, uh, showed up at the shop, which didn't really happen before. Um, it was a case of, you know, Subaru went there to go and find Felt um, to get back the insignia, and then the chaos ensued. Now... As a result of him not interfering with Amelia's day, it looks like she ran into Reinhardt, Sir, Sir Reinhardt, who um, showed up and fought Elsa and actually defeated her. I mean, she's a tough cookie. Even he struggled slightly. You know, his top moves didn't outright kill her. Um, but she had to retreat, which meant that we broke the cycle um, and everyone for the most part survived. I mean, Old Man Ron was in a pretty bad way. Um from what I remember anyway, and, and then, you know, it looks like he will survive though. However, after that is where some of the more interesting stuff really happened. As they were kind of on the way out into town and they were kind of talking about, you know, um, the, who they were and what the situation was and, you know, returning the insignia back to, um, its rightful owner, you know, we got talking about, um, you know, Amelia being a half-elf, and, um, you know, something was said that caught the interest of um, of Sir Reinhard, and he ended up arresting Felt. And we're still not unsure entirely why, because, you know, the, the mysteries of this wider world are still, still not yet revealed for me. Um, I still don't know what the situation is with regards to the countries, um, you know, any kind of racism, any kind of war that's going on, you know, social standings. Um, I, I do get the feeling that there is some kind of a war going on at the moment, or at least there is tensions between countries. And there's a lot of racism, which is odd, considering the fact that so far we've seen a lot of different races, a lot of different bipedal kind of anthropomorphic animals. Um, and, you know, it's 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 just... They're teasing us constantly with, like, these shifts. Like, if anything, you thought that maybe Amelia would be the one who'd get arrested. I mean, she's the owner of the insignia. She seems to be the stranger. Um, but it was felt. And, and you know, I, I, I'm i still curious as to why that was. So, yeah, we're going to jump in and we're going to find out what happens. So, before we do, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon super supporters. Frank Trammell, Karen Abel, Ace, Nick Walters, The Seven Deadly Sins... Damon Smallwood, Michael Y, Clara Grolui, Mr. Greg89, Patrick Sullivan, uh, Jason Jepson, and Aviv Davidson. So, without further ado, let's jump in and let's see what happens next. But who put him in this palace? That is a palace as well. No, this is this isn't an RPG game. God. <laughs> oh no, creepy girl. Hello? Who are you? <laughs> Betty's multi-purpose. Oh, was she Betty? Does she speak about herself in third person? Oh! Um, hello. What? Why? Huh? <laughs> wow. Wow, okay. They... Yeah. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, God, no. What? Yeah, what is it with the skimpy outfits in this universe? 
くだらないことってわかるのがすごく残念助けてくれたのってエミリアタンだよなタンタンって何タンは It's like a formal thing, isn't it? The way you would say to a man, San, I'm sure female is Tan. <laughs> oh, we got a, a sort of multi replay. Oh dear. I mean, I can confirm owning a cat, it is great to give scritches to a, a fairy thing. Jeez. Oh, that's, that's not a clown. That's Lord Roswell. Oh. <laughs> wow. What a way to demean the other twin. So is this Amelia's dad? Also, that is a tiny hat. Oh, a new king. <laughs> he is. He's very suspect. Oh, she's candidate to become queen. Right, okay. That makes sense. And I'm willing to bet that um, Elsa represents her client is another candidate. Yeah. He could be Hand of the Queen, just not that kind of handsy person. Oh, wow. What? Wait, the restroom is also the library in the bedroom? The librarian. Greatest magic user, okay. I was gonna say, he's not gonna like being a butler. Yeah, do you realize what you got yourself into, Subaru? Oh. <laughs> I love how she just... Oh my god. I was going to say, I love how they just underhandedly insult him. Oh my god. Oh jeez. A spy. Uh oh. Hmm. What a very philo philosophical take on that. <laughs> but still the same thing, he'd still be cheating him out of the fortune. He can be actually quite um, introspective and wise at times, Subaru, but then you have that. 
ガキどもよしゃなくたたくわけるわ鼻水ふくわで最悪だったぜチキシ小さい子の面倒見とか良さそうだもんねスバルそうだよかったら明日とか俺と一緒に村のガキを<笑>元に小動物の見学に行くのを一緒に行くの嫌じゃないけど<笑>Um, having been cured of his stomach wound. You know, this is the first time that he's meeting, you know, Rem and her sister. Um, and I'm trying to think what would cause that. So, is someone controlling it? But I mean, he can, he can go back now and ask to be a permanent guest rather than a butler. That didn't, didn't make sense to me. I was like, why would you ask? To be gainfully employed when you could have asked for, you know, permanent residence, money, anything else. But again, I really like the way that、uh, Subaru was really kind of philosophical and introscopic at that moment, where he was like, you know, I can't lie to myself. I, I want what I want in the moment. And even though I probably should do something different, I just follow my heart. You know, that's a really kind of. It's a.、Um, it's a very respectful kind of stance to take because he just follows what he wants. I mean, yes, it's probably not the wisest of things to do, but、um, you know, you can expect a bit of honesty with him. So, we met Beatrice, Betty, who was the keeper of the library. She's employed to protect all of the magic books in there. And、um, Subaru has an innate ability, apparently, to find her library, which pisses her off to no end. But again, he thinks of this as a video game. He doesn't actually, he's still not treating this as. Something serious, it seems. You know? And he still shows no concern with getting back to his original world, which is really strange. You know, he's not made any mention of concern for being missing, you know, or missing home or anything like that. He's just talking about, you know, wanting to be this kind of video game hero. And, you know, I don't know, somewhere deep down, he still thinks he's actually in some kind of video game. I don't know. Um,. But we met the mates, Rem and her sister, who are. I don't want to say stereotypical, but they are kind of stereotypical.、Um, we met Roswell L. Mathers, who is the you know, owner of the, the estate. And、um, at first I thought, oh, well, he must be a family member, maybe a father to Amelia.、Um, as it turns out, he's not, he's a supporter of hers. But he does give me strange vibes, and it's not just because of the weird costume and the makeup, but, you know, he's talking about using Subaru to spy. And I'm wondering on, on who? You know, is he spying on Amelia? Is he spying on, you know, is he secretly trying to work against Amelia, but he's trying to put on a, a gracious face? Or is he trying to, you know, spy on someone else? But it wouldn't make sense. You know, Subaru only knows Amelia. So it must be her. But the idea of the king being missing now, and,、um, you know, there being now candidates for the next,、um, you know, king or queen. I mean, they keep saying king when referring to Amelia, you know, so I don't know if this is a kind of. A situation where King is the set name, no matter what the gender, or if it's just a, a formality and, and you know, she would be called a queen. But、um, it does make sense now why I think Elsa 
wanted the insignia. I think her client is one of the other candidates and they've employed her to steal insignia so that you eliminate as many people from the fold as possible. Um, which automatically should make them, you know, I mean, I guess it depends on what kind of king or queen you would want. But in my eyes, that would disqualify them from their own um, race to become, you know, the monarch because uh, it's not a very... It's not a very um, honourable thing to do. Sorry, Zuko is on the the desk at the moment. Um, But uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting because we do have um, a lot of questions that have just been raised, even by the last 30 seconds of that episode. There's a lot of questions still to be raised. Um, But we're starting to get more and more information and learning more and more about, you know, the situation, the world. But we just need to learn more about the characters and Subaru's abilities now. So, yeah. Anyway, I really enjoyed that episode. It was fun. Um, Oh, hold on. Sorry, Zuko. He's sitting on the keyboard. Zuko, jump down, buddy. Come on. Thank you. Off the keyboard. Um, But yes, anyway, before Zuko destroys my entire computer, I'm going to call that a day on the reaction. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.